Okay, so now let's talk about enhanced networking. So it is a way for you to get better networking performance for your EC2 instances. And so we have the type SRVIO, which gives you higher bandwidth and higher PPS, so packets per second, with a lower latency. And this is something that can come up in the exam. And you have two options for this. The most recent one is called Elastic Network Adapter, ENA, which gives you performance of up to 100 gigabits per second. Or option two is using an Intel VF up to 10 gigabits per second, which is legacy. So this EC2 enhanced networking, especially the ENA adapter, works for newer generations EC2 instances, as we will see in the hands-on. And then we have the Elastic Fabric Adapter, EFA, which is an improved ENA dedicated for HPC, which is high-performance computing. It only works on Linux. The idea is that if you have a lot of internode communications that are tightly coupled because they live within the same cluster, then they're going to get better network performance talking with one another. This is going to leverage a standard called the MPI standard, the leverage the message passing interface standard. And the idea is that Elastic Fabric Adapter is having a higher performance because your EC2 instances are talking with one another. And so AWS knows that and it will bypass the underlying Linux OS to provide even lower latency with a reliable transport. So bottom line of this lecture is that if you just want to have enhanced networking for lower latency, look for ENA, the Elastic Network Adapter. And if you have a HPC cluster, then look for the EFA on top of it to improve performance. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to demonstrate EFA, but I can demonstrate ENA. So take your instance and start it. This is my first instance of type T2 Micro. And I'm going to launch a second EC2 instance, but this time it's going to be newer generation. So I'll choose still Amazon Linux 2, still this architecture, but instead of a T2 Micro, which is older generation, I'm going to look for a T3 Micro, which is a newer generation and has a newer kind of networking. And this will not be free tier eligible unless you don't have availability of T2 Micro in your region. And in that case, T3 Micro is going to be free tier eligible. Next for key pair, I will just choose what I have, the demo key pair. And then for network settings, I will add this and I will select an existing security group, which is my SSH security group. The rest looks fine. I'm going to launch that instance. And then I will get back to my view with my two EC2 instances. And so I'm going to connect to my first instance, this one of T2 Micro. And T2 Micro is what I call an older generation type of instances. So how do we know this? Well, we can do have a look to see if the ENA uh, mod is installed by uh, first. And this is going to be installed, by the way, on every single uh, Amazon Linux 2 installation. So if I do mod info ENA, as we can see, the ENA module is loaded onto my EC2 instance. But it doesn't mean it's going to be leveraged because this instance needs to have some kind of capability and T2 Micro is older generation. So mod info ENA means that the ENA is installed on Amazon Linux 2. But if I type and I clear my screen, ETH tool minus I ETH zero, this is going to give me some information around the driver used for my network interface. As we can see right now, it doesn't say ENA, it says VIF. But if I go back to my EC2 instances and now look at my T3 micro and connect to it, so I will use again EC2 instance connect. If we type mod info ENA, same result because we're using Amazon Linux 2 and so the ENA is going to be installed on it as a module, okay? But now if I type F tool minus I F0, as we can see the driver is ENA and that means that we're using the enhanced networking that we need on this instance. So bottom line is, to leverage enhanced networking, you need to have a newer generation type of EC2 instance. And if you're using Amazon Linux 2, by default, it is going to be enabled. So that's it for the quick demo. Now, just to finish, please make sure to terminate your EC2 T3 micro to be good to go. So that's it. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next lecture.